Who's up for a dark drama that may have ties to the supernatural? The Netflix original series Curon is an Italian thriller with a good dose of mystery thrown in. A woman returns to her hometown, which coincides with some very strange happenings. After leaving almost two decades earlier, Anna brings her twin children, Daria and Maro, back to the small town of Curon. She left under some intense circumstances, and now that she's back, she's not really in for a warm homecoming. I love the interconnectedness of the characters, and the small town really helps with that. I mean, it keeps secrets, and it holds on to hurt and trauma. And through that, lots of intrigue builds. And then the townsfolk give a lot of weird looks and they mumble under their breath and you just, they're, they're very suspicious of everybody around them or especially newcomers. And then even more so, Anna and her kids who have returned. I really like a lot of players in this because they are just very convincing in their portrayals. They give anger, frustration, sadness, trepidation, fear, and it all comes across as genuine. I mean, especially when you look at the circumstances that they're put into, I, I can kind of see myself behaving in that exact same way. And so it does feel very genuine to me when I see them react in a certain way. And there are awkward teenage interactions as well. You have some high school angst going on and you just have some, just some weird conversations, some angry outbursts and then some tearful outbursts and just the whole navigation of teenagehood can be crazy sometimes. And we get to experience some of that through this also. The music that they use in this really goes to build a lot of tension. And what I like in some scenes is that they incorporated some natural sounds in addition to the music. And so what it did is add just this creepy air to everything. I mean, it just, it made you almost want to look over your shoulder a little bit because I can't tell, is that something that the characters are hearing? Not the music, but the, the natural sounds, or is it just put in there to meld together and to just really mess with me? And I think it's more of the latter. The aesthetics in the show are really cool. I mean, in the center of the village of the town is a supposed sunken town. So you have this giant lake and the only thing sticking out of it is this bell tower. And it just, it adds an air of creepiness to it. And an intrigue for me, I would really want to know what's under the water. What does it look like? How much of the town is still left? How deep is it actually? But they also incorporate a lot of wilderness, which I enjoy because it adds to the isolation feel. And it just makes you feel alone at some points. And it really then also adds some true danger because it's not just flat land that the characters have to walk through, that there is actually just, I mean, you could fall off a cliff or you could fall in a hole or maybe, I don't know, a tree could fall on you. Now the trailer led me to believe that this was a horror thriller, but really there wasn't much of a horror aspect to it. I mean, it wasn't scary. Now there was drama, there was thrills, there was mystery to it, but really I think the predominant feeling that I got or the predominant genre that, that eeped through was drama. But it is definitely still intriguing as we're trying to figure out what is actually going on to our characters in this town. I got a sense of a very strict subsect or a religious cult type of feeling within the town. Now, it's not really explored in this season at all. I mean, we get little glimpses here and there, and like you have some visuals that scream of maybe Wicker Man or Midsummer, and so it really just kind of makes you question like what else is going on in this town that I haven't made, been made privy to yet, but they don't really touch on it. Except towards the end of the last episode, they begin to tease what could come in season two. Throughout the show, they have a concept of wolves and how each person has two wolves living within them. One is a pack animal, is there for the benefit of all, who really looks out for everybody. And the other one is on the attack. It is ready to pounce and it is ready to devour. I really like the concept of the duality of character. Which is the dominant trait within me? And what does that say about me? I mean, can we compartmentalize our good and evil natures? Are we able to separate them out or are they constantly at war? And early on in the series, I really got an us feeling. You know, the Jordan Peele's us. Like just, it got a vibe from that. And it stuck with me throughout the entire show. And I don't say that as a bad thing because that was an awesome movie. But I think a lot of it comes from that whole duality question that is raised by the series. At times it did feel a little bit long, but honestly, I can't think of where I would cut it. Maybe it was just me processing what I was seeing faster than the story is unveiling. But as I say that, the story was patient 
and it had a patience to it, which I appreciate because that allowed it to build some suspense. It allowed it to build a little bit of intrigue in there. And had they rushed through everything and made it feel, well, rushed, I don't think it would have built as much as it did. I'm not sure this is the show I thought it was going to be when I watched the trailer, but I'm really glad that I did check it out because it ended up being a lot of fun to watch and it sucked me in. I mean, I wanted to keep binging episode after episode after episode. And it's only seven episodes long for season one, each of them 45-ish minutes. So it's not gonna kill a lot of your day, but beware, once you start, you're probably not gonna wanna stop until you reach the end. There's some sex, no nudity, some profanity, and a lot of violence. I give Kuron four out of five couches. So are there any thrillers that you're watching right now? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.